this next scene you'll see has something to do with this. Um, this is a released FBI document. Um, one of the more important ones I've seen. Um, and it and it kind of just gets into their beginning stages to uh, a more basic understanding of the ET phenomenon. And this one's 1947 San Diego uh, Memorandum of Importance. So it shows us addressed to scientists, important aeronautical and military authorities, to a number of public officials, to a few publications. Um, it basically addresses the fact that they're not only extraterrestrial, it's extra dimensional as well. Um, and the so called supernormal means is probably sufficient to ensure its disregard by nearly all the persons addressed. So, yeah, basically, any that, that kind of just states how our society is set up, even in top secret government organizations, they. Um, they want you to anything above our current understanding of like science or physics is just you just kind of supposed to just throw it out the window because it's like blasphemy. It's like the old um, the old ideology, you know, like burn the fucking the new the new uh, scientist that's saying that the Earth isn't flat or, <laughs> uh, or presenting like evolution. Um, or, well, I guess different kind of evolution now. But these ETs probably being responsible for a majority of it. Uh, but I'll get into that later. Um, so, so it's in, in regards to the flying saucers. And it says, if one of these should be attacked, the attacking plane will almost certainly be destroyed. And they've actually attacked many of them in many of cases. Um, We've been seeing, hearing more and more about that, and um, the jets weren't destroyed because it's just, it's just basically just don't really pose a threat. It's like a child, you know, throwing like pieces of wood at at someone in a car, um, but a more advanced car they can like vaporize things. Uh, so basically, the public mind this might create near panic and inter national suspicion so they're basically saying like why this stuff has been hidden from people the principal data concerning these craft is now at hand and must be offered no matter how fantastic and unintelligible it may seem to minds not previously instructed in thinking of this type And then they highlighted the most important part. Uh, part of the disc carry crews, others under remote control. Their mission is peaceful. Remember that part. The visitors come contemplate sottling, essentially <laughs> settling on this plane. Um, I think from the reports I've heard, it's it's very rare that one of them actually um, wants to live in our dense energy planet, but there is said to be some already already doing that. Um, maybe once it gets better, it'd be cool. These visitors are human-like, but much larger in size. So I'm guessing that the only ones that are referred to as now is the Tigetans and the. Um, Pleiadians that I remember that look they said it look a lot like just beautiful people like blonde or uh, brunette it's crazy cool looking eyes blue eyes they are not excarnate earth people so this is a very limited understanding but but come from their own world 
and then it goes even further because it's not always that simple with extra dimensionals they do not come from any planet as we use the word this looks like a three <laughs> this is bad print but from the etheric planet looks like orthopedic which in term <laughs> enter penetrates with our own and is not perceivable to us the bodies of these visitors and the craft also automatically materialize on entering the vibratory rate of our dense matter ports um, so I think that's what's happening sort of in my next video and like we're showing it after this scene um, is kind of like because they started after my experiences with them um, a lot more noticeable obviously like yeah, if you have temperature changes like extreme temperature changes, which it wasn't, as I was showing in the video, that the temperature wasn't changing that much at all. It wasn't changing. Um, but if it's like, if it goes from like really hot to really cold, you can have, you know, uh, changes in like just, just the walls just getting cold and shrinking in size and it makes a sound. But, um, so I kind of just showed you that that wasn't what's happening. And this happened like louder and louder to a point where it kind of, stop being as loud um, and just more and more where it's really noticeable I mean the sounds were like a little bit startling at times but it's not bad because um, I kind of knew it was gonna happen mostly like yeah right before I would um, start to get ready for bed some kind of like etheric meeting or um, like during uh, sleep hours and that I mean, they, this this thing actually said that they do not come from astral plane, but I, th I think they, they can if they can change through the densities or dimensions or whatever, then that would mean that you could you, should, you could bet your ass they can enter like the dream world uh, as, as they, uh, or just that astral plane is kind of like the dream world. Um, okay, so I'm recording this for the sound. I literally just turned the the heater off. It's about like 68 degrees in here. It's like, it's like 60, 60. Uh, some type of, I had to tell you, I had to tell you, uh, through the, the walls. Oh wow, well, there goes again by the curtain. Here. Oh, yeah, just possess, possess a type of radiant energy or ray which will disintegrate any attacking ship. They re enter the etheric at will and so simply disappear from our vision without trace. So that's entering and, and exiting our reality, as we like to call it, or some people have taught us to call it that um, the region which they come from is not the astral plane but Koros corresponds <laughs> to the locus or talas um, I did look this up it's it is talking about um, other dimensional worlds or like I said density some people some of them like to call it or even more they call it expansions because um, it's I guess it's still parallel kind of like it's still in the in the same realm that sounds funny because it sounds like a different realm like it's just a, it's a higher vibrational frequency that we can't see with our limited senses or touch or taste or smell can only see like a very limited amount of a spectrum of light even with just our regular eyes students of esoteric matters will understand I think you've even heard the sun called locus 
Uh, they probably cannot be reached by radio, but can be by radar if signal system can be devised for that apparatus. There was a, a report of Bob Lazar that said that they were reaching inside of a ship that they had been testing with with radio signal, which is he said was like supposed to be near impossible because it said it like bends. Um, was it gravity or, or um, light? and um, matter around it to move. Let's look back into that one. Uh, lot the newcomers be, let the newcomers be treated with every kindness. Unless it just was drawn. And it gets hard to read, there's stuff over the top of it with which our culture and science are incapable of, of realizing, maybe. Heavy responsibility rests upon the foul and authority who are able to understand the matter. The locas are oval-shaped, fluted length, oval with a heat resisting metal or alloy not yet the f uh, probably actualized by us the front edge contains the controls the middle portion laboratory the rear contains the arraignment which consists in essentially of a can't read that energy suppository perhaps wait is that go with the what Superatus? <laughs> Apparatus, maybe. Perhaps a ray energy beam. I can't read it again. Alright, now for the video. So in this in this uh, next scene the there was a star moving again. Or well supposed star. It's a light ship. Uh, and tricked myself and then it was doing a lot of the twirls and left to rights and up and downs um, and it, it actually uh, sh shortly after this um, started moving like a ton like it was it was uh, rocketing across the sky like literally the most I've ever seen and it, it started to actually come at us because it was uh, me, and, me and that girl I had with me and um, it went from like way back here I guess you'd, if we're looking at the perspective of the video and it went <laughs> or like well like that boom, boom. and then it got kind of close like pointing towards the sky over to where we were uh, and flew back um, that wasn't as much in that portion of the video that was the small motion because um, it was right after I turned the camera off it was like it was almost like they knew we were watching them and it was like teasing but it did get a lot of the motion on the camera and that was on a on a um, tripod like it was probably this one yeah and um, so it wasn't I wasn't moving the, the camera and um, and then you'll see like right after that there also was another uh, the light to the side um, where it was kind of like above the Edwards Air Force Base and I've seen it in another picture um, but there was these these curved like lights coming off of them into the bottom and they were curving down towards the ground and um, the camera couldn't pick it up but so I, my camera's kind of old and it doesn't like if you I mean if you're zoomed out it doesn't really get it but um 
I think it was definitely something that was just coming through mostly f for our eyes and don't really know what that meant either I mean you just make assumptions it seemed like just the thoughts that had occurred to me at the time maybe they were like seeding some type of like information through the their advanced technology of a light beam you know like we have fiber optics I don't know I just obviously it's coming from a very basic like our human understandings of like things how they might work okay now it's it's steady So this thing you can't see the color, but oh, let me get the channel a little bit. It's green, red, and blue, and it was cool because it was disguising itself as this star cluster. There's three stars that circle each other, and they're um, it's called I can't remember the name. It's something with an H, like Haranion or something, and. Um, They've, they've been doing this for a while, where I could see uh, that there were three shuttles circling each other. But Big Dog is moving a lot tonight. They're having a party. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. That's all she wrote. There it goes left. Uh, it's going left to right. Just kind of swaying. There goes up. Right. Up. Right. Left. Right. A diagonal. Up hard, left, blinking like crazy. Up, bounce, right, up, middle. See, it's moved a lot from the center of the camera, too. Let me get a better angle. Okay, so I think a slight resemblance to the hand motions thing. I mean, you kind of see it with this lady here on the left. Um, but maybe just like a more advanced technique to the automation that's going on kind of like within my arm but um i'll record another video because at night it would advance to these longer strokes keep doing it the opposite way and um some of those would match up but obviously this is just an example to try and figure out what they're trying to do what they're trying to show in those exercises with me and then um, I even show something after because we had even more profound stuff happen like in a field with some wind so
Falun Dafa, also known as Falun Gong, is an advanced self-cultivation practice that improves mental and physical wellness through physical exercises and the development of one's character. In China, cultivation practices have a history of thousands of years and form the spiritual foundation of Chinese civilization. In 1992, Falun Dafa was introduced to the public by Master Li Hongzhu. The practice quickly spread because of its profound principles and proven health benefits. By 1999, with over 100 million practitioners, Falun Dafa had grown to become the largest practice of its kind in China and around the world. 100 million. Um, and then the, the second part of it was, was this guy, um, which you'll get in the next video, but it shows like wind manipulation. Up here on the top is where it shows. The middle. So, yeah, these, this portion that I have isn't obviously the same thing, but I'm just kind of trying to allude to what that might actually be um, from, from my end. We sh that's why I'm asking. I want to find out. My bro like, this is, after, like, much of those experiences, moving my brother's... My, or my brother's stuff like across the country and I remember I was like taking a shower and I like it was like pretty high I felt like really relaxed and then um my arm started moving on its own um I'm getting into a whole different a whole different subject here but and Basically, uh, it was doing like these like wild like things. It even like mocked me. I think it went like this. <laughs> Let's see if I can just get it to do it on its own now. And you can feel it kind of like enter like a power like in your hand. Oh, there it goes. Even high. But it does these, yeah, it's spinning. And I'll try and, like, one of the experiments I do is I'll just read something so that it doesn't seem like I'm doing this. Um, like, maybe I'll lower the camera while it's doing its thing. And then I'll read something. So it, my brain is doing something that's not focused on the the hand. Hear him and re, re resemble Cleopatra and Caesar fucking with a <laughs> sweatshirt each morning. <laughs> oh, 
some back had some some little whiplash. This doesn't really hurt. I guess it was just. Oh damn it! That was one of the points I had missed. Uh, also at night there was um one. It was the second night. I had felt like I was like with these two foreigners, and we got uh this. This is like in the desert, when, like between the two um ET experiences. And and I felt like I'd gotten like this weird like hybrid like supercar thing. And we're driving around really fast, so I was thinking maybe like the second night, and like they had picked me up too, and that was maybe it was why my back was kind of sore. We were like flying around a ship somewhere. I don't fucking know. And also, I'm not. This is. This is even more, these are more like abstract things. Like, I can't say as clearly that this was a, like, I mean, I remember the dream exactly, but I'm just taking a guess that that was what was happening at that point. But, um, I think it's just doing, I don't know, if it, someone can explain what the fuck the movements are. There's also the Daniel Scranton guy said he had movements before, um, he started to channel, like his body would move and his hand would move. Some of the, the things are really specific. It seems like like an energy, like transfer, like a movement um, emanating from the hand, I'm just guessing. But, um, what was I just talking about? Oh, I, the person that I had been with the whole time, she did mention something about, like, the whole event. And I, I thought I had, like, some type of, like, mental flashback. Um, and I thought I had seen like the Archarian lady, like a blue ET lady with like a dress, like a beautiful like blue dress with like these accents on it. Like f kind of like, just kind of like grazing across the ground, like kind of like floating, like like the fucking, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a bad reference, but the uh, Mars, Mars Attacks movie? No, that's not, that's not what's going on here. But, um, and then, like, kind of, like, coming up to me and, like, I'm in, like, a, like, a white, like, pod chair. And there's, like, a, see, I'm moving my other fucking hand and this one's still moving. Stop moving hand. Stop moving hand. Um, like, hand to me and, like, touch me on the head. But I'm, this is also just. It was a very short thing that may have been, that may have been created by just like some imagery I'd seen or something. Um, and then I was just having, because it was a short, it was a short like recollection, like a memory, but it felt, it felt pretty like profound, like real. But this is just another... That's not nearly as like I know it was real as as the 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 you know the pulling up and then me being lowered down and seeing all the light and hearing the sound that was definitely fucking real. I care what you say, man. Um. The goods and goddesses often took animals forms. Noticing enhanced kinesthetics ability to feel motion of simulator mo movement and in body test seats rumbles and shocks bumps and weight transfers. Um, oh, these were these were later notes. 
well-being purity with no sense of stress Oh, there was more to the dream so what usually happens is is it spirals for a while and then it um, usually like launches like goes like this like in a row like harness like almost like it seems like it's harness engine and like pushing out let's see if it does it but it does start by spiraling like I guess like gathering energy like a galaxy does I don't know oh there it goes and it gets like, really strong like I could feel the the strength of the thing in my hand like I could I usually can't flex my hand that hard I almost feel like it's gonna hurt me but it doesn't Like right now, my hand is like really tight. The calcium asteroid comes at a 45 degree horizontal. This is just like one of the dreams I had. I could read that, I guess, so this is happening. I ended up going to a southern place of the pond and many regular old school LA hotel looking living rich quarters with ponds around. A woman wanted us to work for her and do something undisclosed. We were flown to into her location and she may have lived under her father with another lady. There it goes. So this will, this is usually happen like at night. Right before I go to sleep. I get really tired. Maybe that's like some type of like crossing into the You hear the cracking in the wall too. Into the um astral realm or whatever they call it I, don't, I think they usually just call that the um, fourth density or in between the two the third and the fourth yeah, I'm kind of fucking interested in what's going on so obviously this is the weirdest part uh, <laughs> some people would, people, some people would like some religious that's probably be like, yep, you possessed by the devil, boy, yeah. But nothing bad has happened. Um, I've never hurt anybody. I mean, this has never hurt me. I've even like, I was like, it's bad to repeat, but I've, I've almost like, had one time I got in a fight with someone where they wanted to fight me, and it didn't fight anyone. And I, haven't, I just haven't heard anyone. I like, so this is harmless, but that was on my own volition. <laughs> the, they just fucking said that to me. But, um, I don't know, just the fucking, I mean, it's, it's usually just my right hand, which is my, my strong hand, the hand that I use. So it points towards me, I can, I can feel like energy, like, that's yawning there, but I feel like energy entering me and kind of like exiting, like circulating, seems like. And then one time, I guess we did this, this could be my, I guess this is say it's like your higher self, um, like an energetic self. To this where this happened and then I can like focus and unfocus my eyes to the point where it's like I see just see like embossed edges of things and this is the first this is the time I actually saw the beings I saw um, like I was looking at the ceiling which kind of like startled me because look at the ceiling and I saw them um, pop up like down the bottom at the edge of my bed and there was three of them and they did they did look kind of like Arcturian oh. like they had like elongated head a little bit 
kind of like the skulls that well they've been finding too um that they did a dna test on recently and they the old i guess like elongated heads and they said that they had matched no dna of like any human of any period and that couldn't have been a um crossbreed because i guess there would have been no match in that case either I'm trying to think of what the fuck happens to this. I don't even know. <laughs> Pushes things around in a circle. It's always kind of cyclical. Circle. Cic cyclical. And then. Good fucking time to do this. It's 11 o'clock. And then. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. I forget what the fuck happens after that. The cracking gets louder around me, and then. Much like it's like, I don't know, fucking summoning. Like, they say there's spirit guides too, like your old ancestors that die, like the people meet when. Sometimes they die and come back. Fucking something in my coffin right outside. Um, so yeah just really profound shit man I mean I, I, this is the best part of all of it is you just learn so much it's like a, it, it's basically like a new religion right where it's not bound by all these religions you, you don't have to accept anything that that you encounter or see. I mean, you can just, this whole thing, you can just say this is all bullshit and it's fine. <laughs> no, um, I guess I'm not really looking for everyone to like believe me. I'm kind of just looking for answers. I mean, I'm just kind of wondering. You know, what what, what do you think is going on when this is happening? I'm looking for like, mostly just like experienced people in these areas. Uh, and then, there's some cracking. Um, yeah, if you can give me some type of guidance, that's cool. But yeah, a lot of this is, um, I don't know, it's just not, it's not as scary as like they fucking put it in all these like brainwashed ass movies of, like scary ET fucking attack things. Cause obviously this is three years ago. I mean, if they wanted to fucking take over and kill us, it'd be fucking done in like minutes, dude. I mean, they, they transverse dimensions and become like etheric fucking energy beings and enter any room and fucking. I mean, it's trying to scare you, and I'm just saying that's like why this evidence is not happening. And if they want to just destroy us, they just fucking like the dinosaurs or some shit. Just like, like you're so like unevolved compared to them. They could just fucking, you know, you've seen them like chasing away from the jets like way faster. They can cloak completely invisible, or I guess maybe like sometimes it appears on infrared sometimes, but who knows? And then there's like phase out fucking nukes that we're trying like the people we're trying to kill each other with um which has been recorded so they're not here to hurt us um but i don't know just this part of it is just so fucking amazing obviously we just had this like stronger connection that there must be something to this i mean there's got to be I get into like I'll get into like other ventures of like what becomes of this energy movement thing, whatever you want to call it, after like in another episode. We'll save some from the next time, just so um, there's something more to talk about. But and I have, I have I kind of just started to explore it, um, but there's been like 
really profound things that have happened, like, fucking, what'd you call it? Like, seemingly magical things, I guess, is what we would say. This magic. But alright, um, that's the whole shebang. I'll post the uh, video up, and Godspeed. As I say, still fucking going at it. Uh, thanks for coming, and don't please, don't, please just don't be a friggin' dy to me. Um, obviously this is not in this real It's a pretty seemingly, I guess, vulnerable thing to put out. My hands moving like I'm fucking spashed. No, um, yeah. Let me know what you uh, let me know what you think. If you got, if you have a similar experience, I mean, I've heard this has have been happening to a lot of people. Uh, I've I've heard other people saying that they've seen, um, the like, like ET um, at the edge of their bed and stuff, and it was basically like outlines. It was like it looked like an energetic version. It wasn't like the like a physical thing, um, with like a glowing edges around it like silhouettes and I've heard people saying seen that and obviously I've seen some people said that their hands have been moving on their own and um so yeah I'm mean, not the only one I'm just I guess just one of the people decided to another one of the decided to come forward and list it up but all right um thanks for stopping by